Uzbekistan. You might recognize this name, or perhaps it's an exciting new revelation for you. If you're familiar with this nation, chances are the recognition stems from its unique features, including Silk Road heritage, or inspiring Islamic architecture, and the captivating beauty of its endless deserts. However, the exploration doesn't end there. There's so much more to uncover. But before we go further exploring Uzbekistan, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification for our upcoming documentaries on travel and geography. Uzbekistan, officially named the Republic of Uzbekistan, stands as a prominent Central Asian nation. Covering an expansive 447 to 400 square kilometers, it boasts a diverse landscape with deserts and mountains that render certain regions unsuitable for habitation. Despite this, approximately 35 million people inhabit this vast land, making it the most populous country in Central Asia. Uzbekistan shares borders with several countries in Central Asia. Kazakhstan to the north, Kyrgyzstan to the northeast, Tajikistan to the southeast, Afghanistan to the south, and Turkmenistan to the southwest. Tashkent, the capital city, takes center stage, serving as a major destination for visitors. During the Soviet era, Tashkent held significant importance as a trading hub, ranking as the second most populous Soviet city after Moscow and St. Petersburg. Presently, it is home to around three million residents. Unlike having a coastline, Uzbekistan boasts lakes and rivers within its borders, with the Aral Sea, once one of the world's largest lakes, now diminished. The country's wealth extends beyond its landscapes. It is the fourth largest global gold producer, extracting not only gold, but also other underground treasures, including uranium. Uzbekistan ranks fifth globally in cotton production due to its fertile terrain also harboring natural gas, oil, and coal resources. Uzbekistan remained a prominent living center in Central Asia, serving as a crucial trading point between China and Europe along the Silk Road. Influential rulers like Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, and Timur played significant roles in shaping its destiny. Timur's era witnessed the construction of UNESCO-recognized Islamic schools, such as the Rajasthan Madrises in Samarkand. Uzbekistan gained independence in 1991, following the Soviet Union's dissolution, fostering pride in its culture and history. Apart from Tashkent, cities like Bukhara and Samarkand also feature prominently. For tourism, Uzbekistan generally welcomes visitors without visa issues, but an extended stay or work requires obtaining permits. Uzbek, the official language, coexists with Russian, and over 90% of the population adheres to Islam. Contrary to misconceptions, Uzbekistan is a modern and safe country, featuring unique markets, hospitable people, and a rich culinary culture. Uzbekistan's daily life reflects its historical charm, with unique bread-making traditions and an emphasis on hospitality. The country's cuisine, known for pilaf, showcases a carnivorous inclination, incorporating various meats and horse meat. The city of Kiva, preserved since the 6th century, stands as a testament to Uzbekistan's historical allure. The nation's currency, the sum, holds value. Uzbekistan's economic activities include cotton and wheat production, carpet weaving, and labor migration. Uzbekistan's societal landscape bears influences from Russia, with a considerable Russian-speaking population and wide streets reminiscent of Russian architecture. The metro system, initiated during the Soviet era, adds to the city's charm. Despite its cultural richness, earning a living in Uzbekistan may not be as lucrative, prompting a significant flow of the population toward European and American countries. While it may not be an economic powerhouse, Uzbekistan offers a unique blend of culture, cuisine, and historical significance. Uzbekistan's rich cultural tapestry extends beyond its historical sites and culinary delights to encompass daily life and societal dynamics. Tashkent, with its population of 3 million, echoes a familiarity with Russian influence. This connection is strengthened by the prevalence of both Uzbek and Russian languages on signs, particularly in the capital. Modernization is gradually transforming Uzbekistan with Western chain stores making their presence felt. However, 
the country has not escaped the challenges of poverty, as evidenced by the sight of children begging on the streets of Tashkent. Pigeons painted in vibrant colors are used as a means of earning money, reflecting the resourcefulness of the local population. The socio-economic landscape of Uzbekistan is marked by an average minimum wage of 320, while ordinary workers earn around 500. Notably, a significant portion of the young population migrates to European and American countries in search of better economic opportunities. Despite not being a top-tier destination for earning a living, Uzbekistan plays a significant role in the global market, exporting these commodities to other countries. One distinctive aspect of Uzbekistan's economic landscape is its thriving carpet-weaving industry. This art, predominantly carried out by Uzbek women, produces exquisite handcrafted carpets that find their way into local bazaars, supporting livelihoods and preserving cultural traditions. The commitment to traditional craftsmanship is also evident in the preparation of Uzbek bread, a process that involves meticulous care and passion. The devastating earthquake that struck Tashkent in 1966 with a magnitude of 8 left a lasting mark on the city. Over 36,000 buildings were destroyed, leading to substantial reconstruction efforts with support from the Soviet Union. Today, the city stands as a testament to resilience, boasting modern structures interspersed with remnants of its historical past. Relationships in Uzbekistan are deeply rooted in cultural values, with a strong emphasis on family ties and communal support. While arranged marriages, reflecting traditional norms, persist, especially in rural areas, urban settings witness a blend of modern dating practices among the younger generation. Public displays of affection tend to be more reserved, Modern influences, including social events and online platforms, play a role in connecting individuals. Uzbekistan experiences a diverse climate with distinct seasons. Summers are hot, particularly in the lowland areas, with temperatures often exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. Winters are generally cold, especially in the northern regions, with temperatures occasionally dropping below freezing. Spring and autumn offer milder temperatures, making these seasons more favorable for travel and outdoor activities. Uzbekistan places a strong emphasis on education, with a system that includes both primary and secondary levels. Tashkent State University and the National University of Uzbekistan are prominent institutions, contributing to higher education, offering a range of disciplines. The country continues to invest in its academic infrastructure to foster intellectual growth and contribute to the development of a skilled workforce. If you enjoyed the journey, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more insights. And drop your thoughts about Uzbekistan in comments below.